Hey everyone, this is Dr. Roy Gonick from the Milestone team, and we are here with another video about the foods, those five must-have foods that every long-distance runner should have. So I chose these five since these have a lot of nutrients, micronutrients, and elements that can help the body thrive while we're running long distance. When we're talking about foods that are very good for us, we're looking for foods that will have bioavailable elements such as carbohydrates, such as proteins, such as vitamins, minerals, etc. And I chose these five, which can for some be all these five could work. And for the vegans, we also have a few very good ones as well. So what are those five foods? We're talking about wild caught fish, such as salmon. We're talking about quinoa, kale, berries, and nuts. All these foods have a lot of micronutrients and phytonutrients that help our body fight against different ailments, reduce inflammation, give our body a lot of vitamins and minerals that can help us work better. So let's talk about these five. Let's go. The first food I want to talk to you about is salmon, the wild caught fish salmon. It could also be mackerel, it could be halibut. Those are very good fish once they're caught in the wild since the wild caught fish versus pool fish are very very different in what they give our body. So you see the wild caught fish has to swim along very long distances in the ocean and also uh, swim upstream and what the fish does it eats a lot of very very highly uh, nutritious foods in the way such as algae, sea algae, which has a lot of omega-3 which is a very strong anti-inflammatory nutrient. Uh, they get a lot of vitamins B, the B complex, which give and allow our body to function in its best way. It has iron, it has essential fatty acids that are very important for our immune system, for our nervous system, etc. So the wild caught fish is really highly nutritious and, and rich in all those phytonutrients, as opposed to pool raised fish that are very, very poor in these nutrients. So go for the wild caught fish. The second food I want to talk to you are nuts. In nuts we have a huge variety of nuts. We can uh, think of the cashews, the almonds, the macadamia, and all the other nuts as long as they're not salted. If they are a little bit roasted that's fine, but once we salt the nuts we are losing quite a lot of these good nutritious values that it has. Now, why do we choose nuts? For many reasons. One, it has what we call unsaturated fats. These unsaturated fats are very, very healthy for our body, for our liver, for our blood vessels, for our heart. And we are getting also a lot of vitamins, vitamin K and vitamin E and vitamin A, and all these fat soluble vitamins that are in the nut. And we're also getting a very nice portion of protein. And all these are very essential for long distance runners since we do need bioavailability of those proteins and those vitamins once we're running. Use nuts, you can have about, I'd say three to four nuts every two hours along the day between meals. That's a very healthy and good snack. And it will also keep a nice uh, balance of the sugar level in our blood. Kale, now kale is really one of our favorites at home. I'd say that we use kale almost in every smoothie and shake, but we also like to kind of dry them and put them as a crisp over salads and it will go great in, in soups, it will go great in shakes, it's also good in green smoothies and green uh, juicing. The kale is very, very rich in fiber, it's very rich in iron, it's very rich in calcium, it's rich in magnesium, it's giving us a lot of very important vitamins and minerals and it has also a lot of antioxidants which help our body fight inflammation. And the great thing about kale is that it's really available for our body. So as a long distance runner, we would like to have bioavailable nutrients into our body that will give a good activity to the muscles, good activity to our digestive system and make sure that our body knows how to detoxify itself in a good way. And kale is really there in the in the top green leaves I would recommend. The fourth food I would like to talk to you about is quinoa. And so why did I choose quinoa? Since quinoa is really a vegan friendly protein, it's really great 
it can go almost with every food. It would work really great for the, the carnivores that would like to eat meat or fish or poultry. It could go together. It will go really great with other grains and other vegetables. And it's a good, high quality source of uh, protein. And it's really a good source for many, many bioavailable uh, vitamins. Okay, so we'll get some iron in there. We'll get calcium and magnesium and we'll get selenium and we'll get many uh, very good and available vitamins and minerals from it. Another very good thing about quinoa is the fiber quantity which, it, which is in it. And that means that the fiber will allow uh, slower digestion of the sugars, which for long distance runners is really important because we want to make sure that the body is getting the amount of carbs, the amount of sugars and calories on a slow uh, base. And so it's, it doesn't go in a, being absorbed really fast into the body, it goes in slower. So we can use the energy from quinoa for long distance. Another thing is that the fibers will allow to cleanse the body and detoxify it properly, which is very important as well. Since it is a very highly fiber and protein based food, it will also give us amino acids and it will also give us the B complex family vitamins, which are imperative for nerve recovery, for muscle recovery and for protein absorption to the muscles. The last but not least food that we're going to talk to you today about is the family of the berries. Berries are really good for us. Berries allow us to get a lot of what we call bioflavonoids, which are basically kind of vitamins that allow our body to get a lot of antioxidants, strengthen and support a good immune system, help other vitamins uh, being absorbed, such as vitamin B and vitamin C absorb better through the use of bioflavonoids. Uh, and those bioflavonoids also give the body a very much support for the musculoskeletal system, it gives us support as an anti-inflammatory and will give a good support for a good respiratory system. So that means that for long distance runners, using berries will allow a better uh, availability of oxygen into our body and help our lungs function better. And also we find that those bioflavonoids that are in the berries are very, very good to reduce inflammation and to help the mucous membrane work better. So in case of allergies, in case of asthma, in case of all sorts of respiratory issues, bioflavonoids, those berries are very, very good for us. They're also very good for the brain. So they will help our brain function better, better availability of neuron accessibility to the brain and also as i said anti-inflammatory so berries could be used in salads in juices in foods and just as a snack help the body work better get a lot of vitamins get good fiber and good get good antioxidants so basically we talked today about five foods that i think are a must-have for long distance runners we talked about the wild caught fish we talked about quinoa, we talked about berries, we talked about kale, and we talked about nuts. And all these five are really important. You can use them as food, you can use them as snacks, and you can use them just as an in-between food. I recommend them daily and have fun with those. I'll be glad to hear from you. Subscribe to us and comment below to let us know if you find this video good for you and also if you have good recommendations from your own experience about the different foods. I'm Dr. Roy Gonick from the Milestone team. We'll see you in the next video.